Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan is not shy about bucking the European political and military status quo. Turkey is in the Western-centric bloc because it has been a NATO member since 1952 and has aspired to join the European Union since 2005. Despite this modern Western alignment, Turkey is a unique geographical and historical place that straddles both Europe and Asia. This has put Turkey in a unique position of being a geographically strategic important part of the world, and that position has extended throughout its history, including today. The president of Turkey doubled down on his country's unique position in the world and stated that he aspires for Turkey to join BRICS, citing a desire to cultivate ties with all sides in a multipolar world. But is this aspiration pushing the status quo too far for Europe and NATO? Turkey's landmass is 5% European and 95% Asian, and it is the only Muslim-majority country in Europe. The geographic location of modern Turkey was part of the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire and had its capital located in Constantinople. The empire fell to the Ottoman Turks in 1453 AD after they captured the capital city, and the Ottoman Empire ascended to replace the Eastern Roman Empire. Turkey's landmass controls access to the Black Sea through the Bosporus and the Dardanelles. Additionally, the Ottomans occupied parts of southern Europe, creating a route from Asia to Europe. Following Constantinople's fall, the religious Orthodox Christian authorities dispersed to various parts of Europe, including Rome and Greece, as well as Moscow, where many Christian leaders fled to establish what they referred to as a Third Rome. Consequently, Turkey has historical ties to Russian culture. Turkey's strategic importance to the US and NATO stemmed from its shared border with the Soviet Union, which not only served as a strategic point to halt the spread of Soviet communism into southern Europe, but also served as a strategic base for US nuclear forces. All this indicates that Turkey has played a significant role in European history, serving as a bulwark against Asia, contributing to religious culture, and even invading it. President Erdogan has repeatedly reminded the world of Turkey's influential role in the world, and has had the stated goal to return Turkey to its historical significance in the world. This has often been a contentious point with Europe and the United States, which also seems to be a tradition when it comes to Turkish relations. The list, while not exhaustive, includes the fact that Turkey has been attempting to join the European Union since 2005, but has failed to receive approval due to a lack of reforms and democratic protections. President Erdogan blamed the failure of the 2016 coup attempt on the US, Egypt and the United Arab Emirates. In response to the coup, the government detained 70,000 people and arrested 35,000 others, providing them with minimal legal protection and due process. The Turkish ongoing conflict with the Kurds in his country and calling for the Turkish diaspora in Germany to protest German elections, as he stated that Germany was an enemy of Turkey, have also been a source of concern for Europe. As a result, no real progress has been made on Turkey's application and this has been much to the frustration of President Erdogan. Turkey has faced not only political but also military issues. Turkey, citing a lack of satisfactory conditions for US weapons, entered into an agreement in 2017 to purchase $2.5 billion in Russian-made S-400 surface-to-air missiles, despite Turkey being a NATO country. The US responded by sanctioning Turkey from purchasing some advanced military hardware and removing Turkey from the F-35 Lightning II fighter program, to which it had initially agreed to purchase 100 of the advanced fighters. Turkey postponed Finland's and Sweden's NATO membership due to disagreements over their respective political stances and statements regarding Turkey. Turkey also threatened to invade Christian-majority country of Armenia and repeated on several occasions that it would attack fellow NATO member Greece as late as January 2024. Turkish President Erdogan has been in the spotlight since the 2022 Ukraine war and 2023 Gaza war. Erdogan has boycotted and forbidden all commerce with Israel and he has blocked all NATO cooperation with Israel over the Gaza war, which has impacted the German-European Sky Shield initiative. During the Ukraine war, the Turkish president has also played a constructive but controversial role in maintaining good relations with both Russia and Ukraine. His efforts have facilitated the creation of a peace blueprint and the negotiation of the Black Sea Grain Initiative, enabling Ukraine to export grain to the world without fear of Russian attacks on its storage and shipment methods. This stabilized global food prices and shielded poorer and developing countries from the economic hardship that would have resulted from the unavailability of Ukrainian grain on the global market. Several EU and NATO countries have criticized Turkey's initiatives, arguing that they undermine their policies. Since Turkey is not a member of the EU, 
It is not bound by the EU's policy position regarding Ukraine, nor has it violated any NATO rules in its opposition. This is because NATO's policy decisions require unanimous consent, which allows Turkey to block many NATO initiatives in accordance with its own rules. BRICS officials announced that they will review Turkey's application to join BRICS at their upcoming summit in Kazan, southern Russia, in October. Russia and China politically influence BRICS, a bloc that aims to challenge established international institutions like the G7, IMF, World Bank and the United Nations. The goal is to strike a balance between the influence of Western-aligned developed nations and the emerging economies of the Global South. BRICS members include Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Egypt, Iran, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. Turkey, if accepted, will be the first NATO nation to join an economic union that is dominated by two countries that are considered dangers to European security. The request to join BRICS does not coincide with a withdrawal of the membership application for the European Union, but it is no understatement that membership with BRICS and the EU would be possible even in pursuit of cultivating ties throughout the world. BRICS is not a military alliance, nor is it as integrated as the G7 or the EU, but it is concerning to NATO that Turkey would be building closer ties with NATO geopolitical rivals Russia and China. NATO does not have a way to eject members. But would it really want to eject Turkey from the alliance and create a void for either Russia or China to fill? However, BRICS membership will allow Turkey to use its NATO veto power to advance BRICS's interests over EU or European security in general. Even if this was not Turkey's intention, it will create suspicions about Turkey's intentions and therefore weaken the unity of the 32-nation alliance. With its admirable work in the Black Sea Grain Initiative and attempts to promote peace talks to end the Ukraine war, Turkey has made some efforts to cultivate ties in the world. However, these efforts are overshadowed by other decisions Turkey has made, such as threatening Greece, purchasing Russian weapons, and now expressing a desire to join a political union led by Russian President Vladimir Putin, who uses BRICS in concert with China, with the stated goal of rivaling and weakening the US and its allies on the global stage and polarizing the world. Is Turkey attempting to position itself at a critical juncture, or is it attempting to extract concessions from its European and NATO allies? President Putin will undoubtedly advocate for Turkey's membership in BRICS, leveraging it as a powerful tool against his European rivals, just as the West has historically utilized Turkey. President Erdogan's move is not intended to bridge the bipolar world, but rather to disrupt the status quo for its own sake, positioning Turkey as a pawn in the new post-Cold War bipolar geopolitical manoeuvring.